Good old Vehicle Legends. We haven't played this game since I was basically suggested not to play it. Uh, long story short, there was a time when I wasn't supposed to be playing this game, apparently. Which is strange to explain, but I'm not going to get into details. We're going to play it today, and we're going to see how it goes. Because uh, I haven't played it in a while, and the amount of comments I get on a daily basis from people who say they want to see videos on it, it's been one of the bigger games that we've played on the channel. I mean, we have done so many videos videos that have blown up on this game back in like, I don't know, 2019, 2018, a long, long time ago. So we're going to play it. I'm currently not banned, which is, I guess, a good sign. Um, but yeah, let's see. What is new? We haven't played this game in so, so long. I don't know if I can keep playing it. I don't really understand the developer's perspective, but we'll play it today and we'll see what happens essentially. But I'm trying to see what is new here. This is a game that uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to tell you how many of you guys want more videos on this game, but this is actually really nice Konasek here. It, it looks almost identical to the real one, except it has its own flair and unique design. One of the things Vehicle Legends does that a lot of games don't do is, um, is the unique designs, but it looks like now they're kind of going back towards the realistic style. There was a weird in-between period where um, Vehicle Legends cars were kind of strange looking, right? We can all kind of agree on that. And I'm glad to see they all look very, uh, very good again. <laughs> they do actually look just like their real life car. I wonder what led that decision, but either way, I'm glad to be playing this game. I do really like it. It is one of my favorite games and uh, it was a shame to see the perspective of no, don't play it or whatever, but we are going to play it today and hopefully you guys are happy to see it back on the channel. I know you guys have asked a lot about it, so let's see. We just bought ourselves that Jesco. Um, wait, hold on. Let me see this car real quick. Oh my goodness, this car still looks like this. This was part of the in-between period where the models were a little bit off, right? I mean, this... This is a very strange looking car. <laughs> but now we've got stuff like this, which uh, none of us can complain. This looks super, super nice. Look at that detailed uh, gauge cluster there as well. Holy smokes, the carbon fiber. This thing looks awesome. Let's go to the customization bay. I don't see enough people making content on this game and it kind of sucks because it's a good game. I just don't see a lot of people talk about it anymore, which hopefully changes in the near future. But. The customization, the UI is still very much the same as it was, which I don't think we can complain. It looks pretty good. Alternate color. Oh, oh, this is the interior color. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's color match it a little bit here. Yeah, this thing looks sick. Okay, um, what else can we do here? Headlight color. Let's just keep that white. Let's see, let's see. I'm trying to like kind of get an idea of what has changed. We can change the stripe color. That's pretty cool. A lot of games don't go to that level of detail. Now, going forward, let's see if there's anything different in the performance upgrades. Okay, I'm gonna get everything maxed out here. Um, we are already all-wheel drive. That's awesome. Let's get engine level 4. I've got 25 stock brakes. That's confusing. So am I... I can equip it. Now I've got 27. So if you buy, like, a pro transmission, you can just buy, like, 10 of them, I guess, and then just use them in different cars. Not really completely sure on how that works, but... Let's go to, uh, I think I'll stay stock height because I don't want to make this thing too hard to drive. And let's get some racing tires. All right, um, wait, what is this? Visual updates enabled. Oh, that's cool. Our Conan Seg is ready to go. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys, we are ready to roll. Let's go for a drive. I can't wait to uh, do some races. I haven't played this game in so long. I'm not used to the mechanics at all. I remember when this map update came out, it was so hyped. I remember this game having like 30, 40,000 players, I don't know, some crazy number. A lot of people were excited about this map, and now I'm seeing comments and suggestions asking for changes to the map, which is weird because I thought everyone really liked it, but maybe I'm wrong, maybe, maybe there are some issues. Let me know, guys, in the comments what you think of this new map. It's not really new anymore, though, is it? It's, it's kind of, uh, it's been around for a while here, so. All right, wait, what's this? This race only allows, oh yeah, air. Air races, that's right, that is so cool. That's the one thing Vehicle Legends does really well, is they give you such a variety. We've got cars, planes, boats. I know you can also get these in Driving Empire, but I don't think there's any races the same as there is in Vehicle Legends. The good old racing hub, this is where you go for everything. Let's see if anybody wants to race us, because I haven't done one in a long time. We'll wait and see what this guy does. Bugatti Bolide, okay. 
Very cool. Um, what does he want to do? What race does he want to do? I'm going to just pull up to the highway race. Probably not going to win this one, but let's see if he's going to come up here. Whoa, okay, hold on. What is this car? What the heck? I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. It does seem like the races are all still the same as before, which is cool. Oh, wait, wait, this is different. The beach dash, this one looks a little different. Hold on. Maybe I can pull up to this one real quick, too. Oh, I didn't get invited to it. Oh, snap. Okay, that's a shame. Oh, I like this leaderboard. Dude, this guy is crazy. 90,000 races won. Oh, my God, dude. One of my favorite things about Vehicle Legends is that you can just join a race and race on your own. You don't actually have to find another person as well. So you can kind of grind unlimited if you wanted to. There's nothing stopping you from just doing whatever race you want, which I do like. That That's something other games should do as well. Because it's not always so simple to find people to do the race that you want to do. So this is definitely nice. Here we go. Let's go and finish this thing, man. I, I'm really... What better race to do than the around the map if you want to get an idea of what's changed? I think there was a fall update because it looks like we've got like autumn leaves and stuff like that. Even though we're only a week away from Christmas now. And I haven't seen any Christmas events except for Taxi Boss. Which is kind of crazy because we're only one week from Christmas. There will probably be more Christmas updates, but I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Oh my goodness. Okay, we completed it. We got 11,000 credits. Not too bad, but I'm not seeing like nobody socializes in this game. Does anybody talk? Hello? <laughs> this game feels so... I don't know how to explain it. Like, people don't talk about it. People don't like communicate. It's so bizarre to me, man. It's such a big bright and vibrant map but it seems so dead and empty like it's definitely not like this on every server i'm sure but on some servers it really feels so like empty man but again one of the best things about this game is the crazy stuff that he adds like all the plane races the ufos stuff like that there is some really unique stuff to do in vehicle legends which i think is is probably the best part and this map is a perfect size i don't think it needs to be any bigger or anything Wait, can I race in the air race with my UFO? Does this technically count as an aircraft? Probably, right? That would make sense. Okay, there we go. Let's see this. I haven't done this race in such a long time. Oh, here we go. It straight up just brought us over here. Let's see how this goes. I don't think the UFO is the fastest aircraft, but I'm not actually that sure. So let's raise it up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, other games got to do stuff like this. This is so cool, man. I wonder if we're going to fly through the city, too. Let's see. There we go. Oh, dude, the map looks great right now. I love all the color and detail. The water has always been a little bit weird, in my opinion, but it's different. So I think it would be sick to see Vehicle Legends do like more events. I don't remember them ever doing an event. And that would be something interesting, like a, a winter themed event, a Christmas event, something like that, like a car hunt. Or even partnering with other companies would be super cool as well, like Hot Wheels or something like that. But that being said, we just finished it. We got 5,000 credits. I think you get more credits if more people compete. But yeah, a lot of people grinding, a lot of people racing, but not a lot of people like talking or anything. So, but yeah, I can't wait to play more Vehicle Legends. Hopefully this is received well by not only you guys, the developer and the entire community. I really want to play this game more and it's just a good solid game so hopefully we see some cool updates and stuff in the future as well guys thanks for watching this vehicle legends video let me know if you want to see more leave a like and i will see you next time take care